Nightline continues from New York City with Cynthia McFadden. Well, we're now just 10 days away from the official start of summer. And so we're taking a look at the lengths people are going to for that perfect beach body. Of course, when stodgy old diet and exercise won't cut it, there's always tanning or tightening. That's old news. But Eric Hong sees a sign of the times in the new lengths some men are willing to go to to change their shape. It's the brass ring of fitness, the ultimate mark of hunkiness, the six-pack. Matthew McConaughey has one. Mark Wahlberg's made this underwear ad famous. And Samantha's boyfriend from Sex and the City had his plastered on a billboard. Honey, I'm not even sure the poster does you justice. Every guy we see in a magazine, they all have six-pack abs. Everybody sees all these movie stars, sees movies with Brad Pitt walking around with six-pack, and people I want to be like him. Ab complete, the fastest way to rock off the pounds. Many products promise results. There's the Ab Flexor, Ab Complete, Ab Lounge, and the Belly Burner. Now you can get perfect abs faster, easier, and at a price anyone can afford. But for most men, achieving a six-pack is like conquering Mount Everest. Crunch all you want, there's no changing that spare tire. To get rid of all of that, you have to get down to about 3 to 5 percent body fat. Unless your job's working out in the gym, and the rest of your job's eating broccoli, you're not going to build with that off. Answer Dr. John Millard. He's one of a handful of plastic surgeons offering a new procedure that promises to sculpt your abs into a work of art. Well, if Michelangelo had been born in the 20th century and had access to this procedure, I'm pretty sure he would have been a plastic surgeon. It's called Vaser High Def, a kinder, gentler cousin of liposuction. Start to see definition in about two weeks after the procedure. They'll have their final results in about four months. All of Millard's patients have to be in pretty good shape to get the surgery. Take Steven Reibold. For years, this 37-year-old engineer worked out five times a week. But the only six-pack was the one in his fridge. How frustrating was that? Extremely. You know, I tried modifying my diet, changing my workout routine, uh, just about everything. This was how he looked before his surgery in December. And this is Reibold now. So the first time you saw that in the mirror, what did you think? I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Before and after. Millard says he's had similar success with 200 other patients, though the procedure's long-term effectiveness has never been studied. The price tag? Fifteen to twenty thousand dollars per surgery. And that's not the only kick in the gut. It felt like I got hit by a bus. It was the first couple of weeks were pretty rough. Um, you know, I was in a lot of pain. I wasn't moving much. Are there any patients for whom this procedure just is not going to work? Yes. Uh, for example, a patient that's obese, you need to lose weight before you'll be a good candidate for this. For many, the whole thing is too much to stomach. No, not a chance. I'd rather lose the weight and put the hard time in in the gym like I'm doing now. Is there something a little bit disingenuous about all this? You've got these six-pack abs, you didn't necessarily earn them in the gym. You're asking, is this cheating? I don't think so, no. <sighs> in fact, Reibold says his new abs have inspired him to work out even more. And since the surgery, he's lost 20 pounds. Have you been taking your shirt off? Like, you go out to get the mail, you say, yeah, I'm just going to go shirt <laughs> No, no. 236. I'm Eric Hong for Nightline in Denver. Keep going, Eric. A sign of the times, and certainly a sign that men are now also going to extremes. Now, this procedure is relatively new, and you can read more about it if you want to in the June issue of Men's Journal on newsstands now. When we come back, tough times and the rise of the repo man. ABC News Nightline, brought to you by Progressive.